What are layers in Photoshop is the title of this video. Well, I have some transparent sheets here and if I stack them like that, I'll be creating layers. I'll take one of them and draw a rectangle on it. This portion of the layer suddenly becomes opaque. It's not transparent anymore and you can't see through it. Now I want to draw a circle because I'm a designer, I can do whatever I want. But if I draw my circle here on the same layer, then I wouldn't be able to move it around independently and change the layout. Sure, I can move the whole layer, but that's obviously not what I want. Why would I want to do that? Now I can always cut this layer and move things around, but that's not ideal. There gotta be a better way. Well, just draw the circle on a separate layer. That way you can easily move these two independent layers to create your layout. Smart, huh? You can also add another layer with a different shape or maybe even add a text layer. And if the text layer is not visible, then you can simply rearrange your layers so that the text layer is on top. Now these layers are all the same size, but we can add a small layer or a larger layer that covers everything else. In this case, we can cut a hole and reveal a portion of the layers below. Now let's see how Photoshop handles layers. The layers panel in Photoshop allows you to make countless changes to your layers. You can open it by going to window, layers. As you can see, since I just created a new document, I only have one single white layer called background. To create a transparent layer on top, just click this button here. The new layer is called layer 1, but I'll double click on its name and change it to black. You can see that the layer is completely transparent, which is represented by the checkered thumbnail. Checkered means transparent. Wow. Now let's fill it with black. First of all, go ahead and click on the layer to activate it. You can see it's highlighted, which means it's activated and everything you do now will only affect this particular layer. If you want to draw something on the background layer, then you need to click on it first to highlight it. So let's activate the layer on top and then go to edit, fill. Open the contents drop down menu and then select black. Click OK. And now we have a black layer sitting on top of a white background. That's why you can't see the background layer unless you move, transform, cut, or change the opacity of the black layer on top. By the way, you can delete a layer by clicking this trash icon over here and you can add as many layers as your system can handle. Just click on the add a new layer button. You can also rearrange the layers by dragging them up or down in the layers panel. 